I'll tell you, parents probably love it. The teachers' union definitely hates it. Grading teachers on the performance of their students. Using this model, successful teachers are rewarded and teachers that are not performing are removed. You can argue there's a lot right with the concept. You could argue there's a lot wrong with it. The LA Times has produced an analysis of how effective LAUSD teachers have been at improving their students' performance on standardized testing. They've ranked the teachers, and the teachers aren't happy. Our resident professor and the editor of award-winning WitnessLA.com, Celeste Fremont, joins us now. Celeste, it's been much too long. We appreciate you coming on. How are you? Hi, Fred. It's great to see you. Okay. Off the top, the teachers don't want to be ranked on performance. Yesterday, they took to the streets to protest. You can understand why teachers would be upset about this, correct? Well, I think one of the things that they're really upset about is the fact that in demonstrating that we need some kind of evaluation for teachers, which, although the union has opposed it, the fact that the teachers are ranked really just by seniority is so unusual. I mean, that wouldn't happen in, in either one of our fields uh, as journalists, as, as uh, you know, on-air personalities, as, uh, you know, as a professor. That would just never, never happen. So the Times said, look, we have this form of evaluation that we call value added that that we have the figures right now. Let us show you how it works. We could rank teachers based on kids improvement on a standardized test. But here's where they really ran into trouble. They printed the names of several thousand LAUSD um, teachers that taught in either the third, fourth or the fifth grade in the LA Times in the paper and rank them as most effective and least effective. Right. And that sort of crosses a line that I think is really problematic. I, I mean, I got a letter from uh, a teacher who teaches in the fifth grade, and here's what she said. She said, I give 150%. I teach in South Central. I love my students. I motivate. I question them. I take kids that nobody else wants, and I love them. I was rated least effective. I am heartbroken, devastated, invalidated. Everything I've worked for was taken away in one moment. I just want to crawl into a hole and die. And that got my attention. So can you really rate teachers just based on how they can get, get kids to perform on tests? There are so many other subtle ways that teachers can excel and teachers can change lives. Teachers can help kids believe in themselves who never believed in themselves. So to to put this out there for for sake of discussion, I think it's been tremendously important. The Times has done us all a great service by saying we need to talk about this. Right. But did we really have to humiliate teachers to do it? Well, I I think that's a valid question. I think it's a valid point. It's very difficult. You know, you talk about standardized testing. We're almost out of time. But I'll tell you this. There are some very, very bright kids that do very poorly in standardized testing. They just can't they take a test. And, and perhaps in this form, it's unfair to blame those teachers. So let's run out of time. We're out of time. Uh, you know, you brought up a great subject, and, and, and I couldn't re- resist really. Ad- uh, it's something I feel very passionate about. I know you do. Thanks for and doing And I can this. tell you do, too. Thanks okay. a lot. We'll talk again. So let's Freeman from WitnessLA.com. Always a pleasure.